I did um, and, and asked Brewer, you know, I said, are you sure you want to get, you know, involved with this guy? He's not honest guy. He says, yeah, but he's got all these connections and what are we doing? Sitting over here in Flint, Michigan, you know. So, well, let's give it a try. You just kind of have to keep an eye on him, but I didn't know how to keep an eye on him. Yeah. You know. It's hard right. to, when you sign that pact with the devil, you, Ooh, you can't buddy. tell which way Ooh, it's coming. Oh, yeah. And if, you, if you're not old enough and your mother has to sign a contract for you, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's how it was. And she didn't know anything about publishing. Now, now did he get your publishing? Yeah, he got my publishing. And, you know, he died a couple of years ago, uh, was stabbed to death by his, his daughter's boyfriend in, uh, in Temple, Texas. God rest his soul. I don't hold anything against him. I don't hold anything against anybody, but, uh, you know, he, if he'd have told me up front, uh, instead of saying, you should publish your songs through my company because I have worldwide affiliates, I don't know. He, I thought he was telling me the truth. <laughs> you know? If he'd have said, though, brother, um, do you want half of your money or all of it? Now that would have been honest because I, I now have my own publishing company and I get all of it. <laughs> But the publisher gets half, and the songwriter gets the other half. I didn't get all my money. But, like I said, that's, that's a lesson, and I hope that somebody watching this picks up on it. <laughs> you know, that's, uh, that's your retirement money. That's mailbox money. You know, that's money for your family. When I exit the bones, that'll still be for my family to, you know, help them out through this life. Get...